Hello all, I am Dr. Anand Nayar, PhD in Computer Science. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to all the technology videos on Linux administration, open source, Windows administration, embedded systems, Kali Linux, simulations, big data, machine learning, programming, deep learning, IoT, virtualization, unboxings and many more. If you want to know more about my, the details of my video, you can click on the playlist and you can find more details of the videos on which I make on my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about my research, you can go to Google Scholar and you can search my name Dr. Anand Nayar and you can find all my research papers over here. And similarly, you can even go to researchgate.net and you can find my detailed profile and even my level of research over here and you can find all the coordinates of my current research scenarios on this website. And similarly, you can even go to google.com and you can search my name as Anand Nayar and you can find my website and every coordinate needs of my of my research everything over this search so i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned gyan with anand Nayar, your ultimate resource for technology thank you hello researchers how are you i hope you're fine and doing well in this video i will be demonstrating how to install mx linux on vmware workstation now before we proceed with the installation part of MX Linux on VMware Workstation 14 Pro, let us first of all discuss something introduction and history of MX Linux. MX Linux began in a discussion about future options among members of the MAPIS community in December 2013. Developers from Antex then joined them bringing the ISO build system as well as the live USB DVD technology. In order to be listed on DistroWatch, MX Linux was initially presented as a version of Antex. It received its own DistroWatch page as a separate distribution with the release of the first public beta of MX16 on November 2, 2016. The MX14 series was based on Debian Stable VZ and you first used XFCE 4.10 and then with the 14.4 release XFCE 4.12. The MX14 versions were intended to fit onto a CD, a constraint that limited the applications that could be included. This series saw the gradual evolution of the MX tools, a collection of the handy utilities designed to help the user with a variety of common tasks that are often complicated and obscure. Many of these tools were developed specifically for MX, while some were forked from existing Antix apps or are existing Antix apps, a couple were imported with permission from outside sources. MX15 moved to the new Debian stable jesse using system md shim meaning that system md is installed but the default init is system v init the size limitation was limited enabling the developers to present the user with full turnkey product substantial expansion of mx tools occurred mx16 was still based on debian stable jesse but with many applications backported and added as well as from other sources and also had additions and refinements to MX tools, import of advanced and text developments, expanded support and a completely new icon theme wallpaper combination. MX 16.1 collected all bug fixes and improvements since MX 16 and added a new Kingfisher theme, upgraded and streamlined MX tools, revised documentation and new translations. MX 17 Changes began its base to Debian 9 stretch and bring upgraded artwork, new MX tools, improved live operation via NTXX and many other changes detailed in MX block. Now you can see that I have opened the latest website that is mxlinux.org and in this video I will be downloading and installing the latest version of MX Linux that is version 17. So if we talk of some more detail of MX Linux, MX Linux is a midweight Linux based operating system based on Debian stable and use core Antix components with additional software created or packed by the MX community. It is developed as a cooperative venture between the Antix and the former MAPIS communities aiming to use the best tools and talents from each of these distributions. MX Linux used the XFCE desktop environment. So you can see that the official website is here. So in order to download MX Linux, you have to click on this link that is download and the latest version is 17 MX17 and it is available both for 32-bit and 64-bit. So I recommend you can use any of the mirrors and you can even use 64-bit torrent. So as I have already downloaded it, so I will not waste my time on download. So I will straight away skip to the second uh, part of my video that is part B in which I will be installing the MX17 version 64-bit on my VMware workstation. So let's open the VMware Workstation 14 Pro which is the latest version. So let's click on create a new virtual machine. Let's click on next. 
so I will use this option I will install the operating system later so click on next and now I will select the Linux and the version will be Debian 9.x 64 bit so make it sure because it is based on Debian 9 that is VZ so Debian 9.x will be the version so click on next so over here I give the name that is MX Linux 17 or any name whatever you want to specify and the location whatever you want to have so I click on next and I allocate 30 GB of this space but the minimum required is 20 GB so I recommend to in order to have the better support and better installation of updates and as other tools so it is better to allocate 30 GB minimum so click on next so I click on customize hardware and I just increase the RAM to 240 2048 and I click on processor and increase the cost to number 2 and I go to new CD DVD I click on use ISO image I click on browse and I go to my D drive operating systems and over here I have downloaded the MX7 and if I right click over here and I click on properties so you can see that it is about 1.18 GB of size so click on OK select this and I click on close so everything is set up beautifully and now we are ready to fire the operating system so let's click on finish so first of all we will go into the live environment and over there we will use the installation option on the XFC desktop environment and then we will proceed towards the installation so I click on power on this virtual machine so the VMware has started so you can see that the beautiful option has come so there are different options that is MX17 virtual box video boot from hard disk and memory test so click on the first option and press enter so you can see that the kernel has started initializing and in each version 2.88 booting is done and it has changes to updates to the fonts so some basic display settings are there and some basic uh, services are being started up so we are moving into the live boot CD and after that we will start with the installation so you can see that a very beautiful XFC desktop environment is there with a with, with the name that is MX Linux so this is XFC so let's wait for it to completely boot so you can see welcome to MX Linux a fast friendly and stable operating system loaded with amazing tools and supported by a great community so I click on close and you can see a beautiful wallpaper which shows the today's date time etc is there so we, what we have to do is to just click on this install icon so you can see that the opening dialog box has come and we just have to go with simple steps and everything will be installed automatically and beautifully so I click on next so you can see that the disk will be about 30 GB of size so either you can modify the partition tool with the partitions with the partition tool or either you can just click on auto install using entire disk and I click on next so ok to format and use the entire disk for MX Linux it is ok so I click on yes so now you can see that it has created partitions that is it is creating the swap partition and the root partition and after that it will be going with the installation of the operating system so now you can see that it has started copying the files and the installation will not take much time the depending on the speed of your processor and the RAM allocated it can take not more than about 10 to 15 minutes for installation so I just uh, uh, minimize it and I just uh, pause the video for some time and I return back once it is towards near to completion so you can see that almost 50% of the installation has been done and rest of the installation will take not more than 5 to 6 minutes so we return back soon so we can see that uh, it is on the verge of completion and it is at 96 percent of the installation and uh, about 95 percent has been done so let's wait for it to get complete and after that we have to just reboot the system and then I will tell you how to install the VMware tools as well as some other commands which we can use in order to operate this MX Linux with XFCE desktop environment So it is done and you can see that it is now uh, asking me to select the boot method that is install the grub so we will not make any changes and we click on next. So ok to install grub bootloader at SDA so it is ok and now the grub bootloader will be installed. It can take a couple of minutes but I don't think so that it will take much time. Ok so it is installing beautifully.
let's wait for it to get complete okay so now it is saying that uh, uh, it is uh, saying about the computer name so let us change this computer name to MX Linux 2017 and take the computer na domain as my name that is anandlab.local so workgroup it is okay so click on next so let us take the keyboard as US only local is okay and let's go with the time zone by changing it to my country that is Asia to Ho Chi Minh because I'm living in Vietnam so I click on next so it is saying to have the default login name so I take my name my name is password and I also give the root password so I click on next so I think so it is done okay so it is done so let's click on finish and click on yes to reboot so you can see that it has started stopping the services so let's press enter to remove the disk and close the tray so you can see that the beautiful options have come that is so we have to choose the first option in order to boot into the operating system so the innate version has started and it is fast and I can say that it is a, a fast Linux and it is entering into the run level 5 which is the graphical mode and we will be using uh, the XFC desktop so let's wait for it to complete boot so now you can see that the desktop version has come so let us boot into it by giving my password so now first of all we will set the display and then I will show you how to write some commands etc so it is booting let's wait okay so you can see that it has given us a welcome so if you want to show this dialog box at startup it is okay but otherwise it is close okay so let's click over here and over here we must have the settings so under settings we have that is the display so over here we click on display and we change the resolution to 1360 to 768 which is my default resolution so I click on apply and you can see that it is okay so now let us first of all uh, uh, try to do some update as well as install the VM tools of uh, v of VMware workstation over here so click over here and I just search that is XFCE terminal so I click over here and first of all let us log in into root with the command that is su space minus like we give in Ubuntu so root has logged in so you can see okay so let's go with apt hyphen get update in order to update all the repository you can see that it is Debian based so all the Debian repositories are being updated so now what we have to do so all the packages are updated so we have to fire one command that is apt hyphen get install open v open hyphen vm hyphen tools hyphen desktop so you can see that it is about a 1 MB of package so let's press Y and press enter so it will automatically set and after that you can uh, reboot the machine and after that you can copy paste from guest machine to host or from host machine to the guest machine let's wait for it to get completed so it can take some time because it's a heavy command so you can see that the resolution has been uh, changed so once we reboot it will be fixed so let's reboot it so let's wait for some time till it boots so you can see that the Linux has booted so let's go with full screen and let's log in so now the VMware tools are properly being set out now you can copy paste your folders and files between your host machine and guest machine and from guest machine to the host machine so now let's uh, right click let us wait for it to get uh, completely booted up and set it up so a very beautiful wallpaper it is there so right click and click on 
open terminal here so there are 73 updates which are there so let's go with this commands like hostname ctl so if we want to find the IP address so I have config so IP is connected so let's ping over there okay oh sorry uh, let me type okay so it is pinging so let's check the version that is cat slash etc slash mx siphon version so the version is 17 and it was launched on December 15 2017 and let's check the Linux version that is cat slash etc slash lsp hyphen release so you can see that it is based on Debian and release is 17 so in this video I have demonstrated how to install MX Linux 17 on VMware Workstation 14 Pro so do like this video do give this a shot do comment on this video and also let me know what was your experience and what you want me to make more videos on my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as hit the bell notification and like my other videos and see you next and see you later in my next video thank you so much for watching thank you